Hi everybody, welcome back to Banished! Welcome back to Sipsburg! Here we go, another session of Banished. Thanks very much for all the likes and the comments in the last video. I'm glad that you're still liking this. Uh, let's do it. We're gonna keep going with Sipsburg. We'll make some more progress and then see how we're doing, see if people still want to see this and, uh, and if they still like it or whatever. Great! Alright, uh, we have quite a bit of food. It looks like we have a lot of firewood, we have a lot of logs, we have a lot of stone, we have a lot of iron. And we have a lot of coats, and no tools. What the hell is going on with the tools? What is the situation with the tools right now? I think uh, we're making more, uh, because it looks like we have uh, 59 iron tools out of the 60 required in the, in the trading uh, post at the moment. Uh, as soon as uh, whoever the blacksmith is, uh, who is the current blacksmith of today? Is there a blacksmith around here anywhere? Blacksmith, hello? Coletta. Coletta, the 49-year-old woman, uh, has decided to become the blacksmith. Uh, she's got everything that she needs to make these iron tools, uh, but no iron tools are being made, and also I'm finding it impossible to actually close this window. Great. Coletta uh, is going to buy some iron, I'm hoping, from the market. She's taking a bit of a shortcut through the field in between these houses, which is a big no-no. Uh, the uh, actual foot traffic that occurs from doing this kind of thing is going to almost make like a, its own shitty dirt path. I don't know if you've ever seen that in real life before, but when a lot of people walk on a certain patch of grass to go a certain way, it makes like a makeshift shitty muddy road. Uh, and we don't want any of that in Sisburg. We want to keep this town pristine, Coletta. You degenerate. Jesus. Uh, it looks like Windell has become a student. A child named Luella May was born. Uh, McKaylee has become a student, whoever that is. And, and Jeanette has also become a student. We now have eight students and 14 babies. 43 people. Uh, we're going to have to think about potentially getting um, yet more food. I think we've got uh, enough farms now to cover everything. Nelly has become an adult and is working in this, as a laborer. That's good. Uh, maybe we'll add uh, her as a farmer. Nelly, or is it a guy? Can't even remember. Uh, we could definitely do with having uh, some farmers. I don't know if we need this many vendors either. Let's, uh, let's take everything down in the market to one vendor. It is just now uh, Ramonte Beal, uh, who's probably actually dead now. Did Ramonte Beal die? I can't even remember. I, I'm, I'm struggling to keep track of all the people in Sipsburg now. Uh, as you've seen, there's been a lot of people passing away recently. There's been a lot of people born recently, and it is very hard to keep track. The Shad has also become a student. Great. Okay, let's figure out what the hell we're going to do today. I think we're coming up close to the time where we might need to think about having a city hall. I think we can make a city hall. I think we got the resources that we need for a city hall. I think it'll be cool to have a city hall. Where do we want to build city hall? Probably over here on this expansion island. Look, we've got the uh, bridge, Wooden Gate Bridge 2.0, uh, that connects Sipsburg with this other island over here. We'll make a whole bunch of stuff over here. And the first thing we'll make is a nice city hall, uh, or sorry, town hall. We'll make it here, facing this way, and we'll make it like the centerpiece of this part of town. It'll be great. We can make like a nice square where there's like a church and stuff. I think like right here will be fine. We need 62 logs, 124 stone, and 48 iron. We're missing the iron, uh, but that's okay. We can probably manually mine some. There seems to be a whole bunch right behind Town Hall, or where Town Hall's gonna be. So fine. There we go. It is done. We have placed Town Hall. We now need builders who uh, is available to do some building. I think we can probably spare two uh, foresters, actually, to become builders. And it looks like there's a merchant at the trading post. Uh, who could it be? That's not the trading post. It is. It looks like it is. Oh, it's Linwoody, the resource merchant, who is selling ale. I don't think we need ale right now because we don't actually have a tavern. Uh, but it may be useful to actually buy or trade ale uh, at a later time to save us making it. Maybe like, uh, maybe in the early stages of, um, of having a tavern, of our tavern ship, possibly. Uh, for now, Linwoody, get out of here. We don't want any of your ale. We don't want to trade our iron tools. Uh, in fact, we have no stockpile of iron tools and look at all these people are doing everything by hand right now because Coletta is lazy. Coletta, what the hell are you even doing? How these people are all harvesting crops with no tools, and it's all Coletta's fault. I can't believe it. Um, okay, fine. So, we want to connect a road to this town hall uh, for sure, straight away. 
Uh, and we want it to be like somewhat, we want it to have be like grand, I think. Can we get it like, is that sort of in the middle? Kind of? Maybe like a, a double, a double road? Okay, let's do this and we'll wait till it's built so that we can see, so that we can center it and have like a cool like town square, sort of town hall set up. I think that might be nice. Uh, we'll connect the road down here like this. Great. Oh, apparently you can do diagonal roads as well if you hold shift. I didn't know that. Oh yeah, look at that. You can. You can hold shift and you can do like diagonals and stuff. Uh, so if I wanted to, I could make like a really zigzaggy diagonal road. I'm not sure I really want to. And actually now I need to delete that road because I don't want that to be there either. Okay, fine. Let's uh, delete these roads because we don't need them. And uh, let's also see, we've got two laborers now. Might be good to actually have a resource pool of laborers to do all of the other shit uh, that isn't accounted for. Like, uh, for instance, picking up this iron. And we're going to pick up a whole bunch of iron off of this expansion island. It's going to be great. Uh, meanwhile, we have uh, Inelia has become an adult. A child named Dechonsi. Or Dechonsi. Dechonsi has been born. What a fucking name. My god. Everybody, Sipsburg is now the proud home of... Deshaunsi, who has just been bored, and Adon has become an adult and is working as labor. We now have four laborers. Great. Okay, let's have two laborers. Make sure that we have enough builders. We want to get this town hall built at some point this year, for goodness sake. Uh, our iron is massively low because we're using a lot of it to build the town hall. It looks like we have a bit of a stockpile of tools. Uh, I, when I say a bit... I actually mean three. Let's decrease this so that we can actually... Look, let's have 40 instead of 60, and then the other 20 they can take to the market and sell on to these poor people whose hands are now just, like, completely mangled from having to do all of this manual labor without any tools whatsoever. It's a goddamn shame, and actually the trading standards and the um, the work unions are going to come in. They're going to descend upon Sipsburg and shut the whole thing down if they find out that this kind of stuff is going on. Because in this day and age, it's unacceptable to expect people to do farm work and any other kind of manual labor without a single tool. Uh, it looks like we have a um, roving pack of wildebeests uh, making their way over the fishing dock. What a sight for the fishermen this morning. They wake up, they come out to do their usual fishing, and they just find uh, an entire pack of deer uh, on the dock, sort of swimming, getting up on the dock after a morning swim and then making their way uh, into Sipsburg. Ah, poor Vestel. Vestel has died of old age. Look, the old cemetery, has got old gravy is reaping many souls inside this cemetery. Look at that, he's got 17 people now to torment in the afterlife uh, whenever he wants. And of course, now there's also 15 babies that are shit scared of old gravy as well at any given time. Students, not so much. We've got six, uh, six students, sorry, seven students now, who think that old gravy is just a, um, is just a big bag of uh, hokey pokey. But, uh, but 15 babies who um, you can get to do anything, basically, in Sipsburg uh, at the mention of Old Gravy. Like, for instance, if the babies didn't want to eat their potatoes, uh, you could say, oh, fine, I'm going to go phone Old Gravy. And then they're like, oh, shit, give me those potatoes straight away. I need to eat them. I'm scared of Old Gravy. It's, it works. Trust me, it works. Uh, as a dad, myself, I know what works with kids. I'm not saying do it, but I'm just saying it does actually work. Okay, well, anyway, <laughs> let's build another house. Um, do we want to build another house straight away? Maybe not, actually. Let's have the town hall finish first, and then we can think about making another house. We're still a little bit low on iron, and actually, it looks like we've blasted through the entire reserve. There's still a whole bunch earmarked here to be picked up, and actually, we can probably pick up this stuff, too. It's, uh, it's looking like we're getting close to the point where we might need to think about getting a mine. Uh, so that we can get some more iron into the town, uh, because we seem to be blasting through it. We always have a need for tools with all the jobs in the town. And also, uh, we're trying to trade tools because they're actually worth something. Um, trading excess food, apparently, is quite a good option as well. But I'm always scared to trade food because... Um, I don't know if you know my track record in these kind of games, but... I tend to um, cause m many starvations through my bad food management. So, there you go. Oh shit, look! Look who it is! Who could it be? I can't click on him yet, but as soon as he lands in the trading port, we're going to see. If it's Linwoody again with his ale, I will actually go apeshit. Who is it? It's Martina, the general goods merchant. Look at this, walnut seeds. Holy shit. Uh, well, I mean, we could get some walnut seeds uh, into the town at the hefty price of 2500 
You fucking believe that? I wonder if Mertina will stay around so that we can actually get uh, some more stuff in here. Like, I mean, it, I'm just talking about how I don't want to trade, like, 2,500 food away uh, because we have an excess of food. But actually, to get uh, one walnut seed, I'd be fucking tempted, actually. Look at this. There's corn and herbs. Let's do it. Well, let's get some food in here. Uh, let's see. Fish. What do we have a lot of? Uh, let's just take a quick look and see. In the storage barn currently, we have lots of potatoes. Uh, it seems not not actually that many. Wow, we have a lot of fish. We have more than enough fish. Okay, fine. We're going to get rid of all this fish. We're going to get 2,500 fish in here to trade for these walnuts. This is going to be nuts. Okay, 2,500 fish. Here we go. And then as soon as we get all that we need to trade for these walnut seeds, I'm not sure if this is going to be a good trade or not, actually. I'm, I'm really starting to have second thoughts on it, but that would be interesting to get some walnut seeds. And we can grow some walnuts. Look, the people of Sitzburg are going to love it. They're going to love having some walnuts. I mean, I, for one, love walnuts. So I can't imagine that anyone in Sitzburg would not like walnuts, for instance. Okay, look at this. Town Hall. Whilst uh, the walnuts, or sorry, the fish turn up to the trading post to trade for one walnut seed. It's like, a, it's like Jack and the Beanstalk all over again. All these people are pulling together all of their time, resources, and money to get some magical seeds, which will give us the ability to grow walnuts. I don't even know how that's going to fucking work. I'm really looking forward to seeing it, though, but uh, there we go. Look at this. Progress on the Town Hall. My god, I can't believe it. What's-his-face is actually going to be able to realize his dreams of becoming the mayor of Sipsburg. I can't even remember his name now. What was his goddamn name? I'm, I'm losing track. Uh, can we find him? No? I think he was the teacher, wasn't he? He was the teacher maybe at some point and then... Mon oh, he may have died. He may have died. I think he was married to Monsera at one point, possibly. can't believe Monsera is still going. She's a farmer now. Holy shit. Good on you, Monsera. Hilber! It was Hilber! Oh, I did find him in the end. I can't believe it. Hilber, the one remaining Hilber, can now become the mayor. Look at this. Look at this town hall. Look at all this cool stuff that opens up in town hall. Look, you can see how much you you can set all your limits of stuff in here, which is kind of cool. You can see your entire uh, inventory of stuff. Look at how many hide coats we have, for instance. 36 nuts. There's a whole bunch of graphs here. Uh, this is where the nomads come in. Uh, and you can see what you have uh, for trade items. Look at this, acquired seeds and livestock. We're about to add walnuts to this list. We currently have chestnuts as well. I guess, what, do chestnuts grow on a tree? Do walnuts grow on a tree? I don't even fucking know. Migdalia has died of old age. Uh, has she been replaced as a builder? No, we don't actually need any builders currently. There are no building tasks. Uh, we could probably set up a house. How are we doing? Do we ha Wow. Okay, the trader has left, and we are stockpiling 2,500 fish here. I think it's a good move, actually. I think even though we missed out on those walnut seeds, I think having 2,500 fish in the trading uh, post at all times is a good thing. It gives us a lot of leverage. It gives us a lot of leverage for some big trades. I think it's going to be good. And, uh, and I mean, at least people aren't just having a 100% diet of fish in Zipsburg either. Um, they can maybe eat different stuff like potatoes now and squash. Okay, great. Uh, let us then... Um, do we want another farm? Probably do with another farm. Let's get a nice road up here. Look at this. We're going to get a nice road up here. And actually, with some of the stone and stuff that we have left over, we can probably start upgrading some houses. Let's start upgrading some houses to stone houses. Who wants a stone house? Hilber? Hilber, you want to be the first? Do you want to be the first one to uh, to have a stone house? You might like that, no? You can just do it here. Look at this. We can upgrade to stone house for the low, low price of 10 iron, 40 stone, and 24 logs. Let's do it. There we go. Uh, we need builders uh, to do this. We need two builders, apparently, to make this stone house for Hilber, the mayor of Sipsburg, the first proud owner of the first stone house in Sipsburg as well. Uh, of course, uh, Hilber has just died as well. Did Hilber actually just die? Maybe he had a heart attack after realizing how cool it's going to be to have a stone house. Can't believe it. Warneston has now replaced Hilber as the mayor and the teacher as well. Uh, Mylene the herbalist has also died. And uh, Ern Ernie has replaced Mylene as the herb. I can't believe it. My god, every everybody is just slowly dying.
Thanks for watching part 16 of Banished. We finally got to work on the town hall, and we've got plans to do a bunch of other shit coming up. Stay tuned for the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!